Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I cry to you all the day long. O Lord, you are good and forgiving, full of mercy to all who call to you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, as we gather together today, and as we now prepare to enter into our worship together, let us begin as we acknowledge our sins, and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. May this sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery it may accomplish in power. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. When I came to you, brothers and sisters, proclaiming the mystery of God, I did not come with sublimity of words or of wisdom. For I resolved to know nothing while I was with you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. I came to you in weakness and fear and much trembling, and my message and my proclamation were not with persuasive words of wisdom, but with a demonstration of spirit and power, so that your faith might rest not on human wisdom, but on the power of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, I love your commands. Lord, Lord, I love your commands. How I love your law, O Lord. It is my meditation all the day. Lord, Lord I love your commands. Your command has made me wiser than my enemies, for it is ever with me. Lord, I love your commands. I have more understanding than all my teachers, when your decrees are my meditation. Lord, I love your commands. I have more discernment than the elders, because I observe your precepts. Lord, I love your commands. From every evil way I withhold my feet, that I may keep your words. Lord, I love your commands. From your ordinances, I turn not away, for you have instructed me. Lord, I love your commands. Because he has anointed me 
to bring glad tidings to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim liberty to captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to let the oppressed go free, and to proclaim a year acceptable to the Lord. Rolling up the scroll, he handed it back to the attendant and sat down. And the eyes of all in the synagogue looked intently at him. He said to them, Today, this scripture passage is fulfilled in your hearing. And all spoke highly of him and were amazed at the gracious words that came from his mouth. They also asked, Is this not the son of Joseph? He said to them, Surely you will quote me this proverb, Physician, cure yourself, and say, Do here in your native place the things that we heard were done in Capernaum. And he said, Amen, I say to you, no prophet is accepted in his own native place. Indeed, I tell you, there were many widows in Israel in the days of Elijah, when the sky was closed for three and a half years, and a severe famine spread over the entire land. It was to none of these that Elijah was sent, but only to a widow in Zachar, in the land of Sidon. Again, there were many lepers in Israel during the time of Elisha the prophet, yet not one of them was cleansed, only Naaman the Syrian. When the people in the synagogue heard this, they were all filled with fury. They rose up, drove him out of the town, and led him to the brow of the hill on which their own town had been built to hurl him down headlong. But he passed through the midst of them and went away. The Gospel of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise Praise Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, Today, in our Gospel from St. Luke, uh, we see a very fascinating thing occurring. We see that Jesus returns to his home in Nazareth and uh, is in the synagogue on the Sabbath day and is in front of those who have known him since he was a youth. And as is the custom, he proclaimed what we would say is, in a sense, the liturgy of the word of the Jewish ceremony. He reads from the scroll of the prophet Isaiah and particularly as we see picks this passage about how the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. And uh, as he goes through, he gives some commentary. St. Luke gives us a little insight into the commentary, but it would have been probably quite common that Jesus would have given what we might refer to today as a little homily or a homilet, uh, a reflection on the sacred scriptures. And of course, as he begins, the people are just amazed at his breadth and knowledge of the scriptures. But then when Jesus gets to the point of challenging uh, the people to go beyond where they are comfortable uh, in that classic example of challenging them to even more boldly and more authentically embrace the message of the prophet and the sacred scriptures, uh, we see that the people turn. I often call it the Monday morning quarterback. <laughs> When you win the game, you're the hero. When you lose the game, throw them under the bluff of the hill, cut their costs, and uh, eliminate their contract. Uh, I always say, you know, the old phrase, what have you done for me lately? I would always say, what have you done for me just now? Uh, is sometimes our, our cultural cry. And we see the shades of this in Jesus' popularity in this moment in his own town because as long as he is sort of uh, winning the game as they perceive it should be won, uh, he's a hero, but of course when he challenges them uh, They want to throw him over the bluff of the hill and I think not only does this remind us That sometimes the message that must be preached and the message we must hear are things sometimes that we don't always feel comfortable with and maybe in some ways well, we wouldn't certainly want to throw anyone over the bluff of the hill we can see how the emotion can swell up, not just individually, but corporately. Boy, I mean, we see that all around us now, especially as we're in this political season. Uh, certainly no middle, uh, two ends. Uh, and a lot of times it comes from strong convictions on one end or the other. 
uh, and also uh, philosophical principles, fundamental principles, at least I hope. And uh, what we see in all of this is that Jesus reminds us that indeed, when we understand what the kingdom of God is about, it follows yesterday's gospel passage in a real way about taking up the cross. It's not always easy to embrace, but it is necessary to embrace. And uh, as we hear these words today, let us ask the Lord to help us so that maybe especially in those times when the words of sacred scripture do more than tingle our ear, they might uh, cause us to become a little angst. We recognize uh, that indeed, sometimes we must open our hearts even greater in our minds more expansively to understand and to accept and to know not only the teaching of God, but the will of God. So let us ask as we celebrate uh, the Eucharist today that the Lord may indeed strengthen us and so that we may follow Christ and indeed in our lives proclaim that truth that he proclaimed in the synagogue. My dear brothers and sisters, continuing this day, we turn to Almighty God and let us make our petitions to the Father, consoled by the knowledge of his love and care for us. Let us pray for the church. May the outpouring of the Holy Spirit continuously refresh and renew her. Let us pray to the Lord. Yes. For public authorities, may God grant them strength to stand for goodness and justice. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, O Lord. For those who are depressed or troubled in mind, may the healing presence of Christ be upon them. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, O Lord. For all of us gathered here in worship, may the Holy Spirit guide us in nourishing one another in love. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, O Lord. For all of our personal intentions, for those needs listed in our parish book of prayer, and for all those we hold in the silence of our hearts and bring today before the Lord, let us pray to the Lord. Hear, Hear us, Lord. For Arlene Reddish, for whom we offer Mass today, and for all the souls of the faithful departed, that they who have died may find eternal rest in God's heavenly kingdom, let us pray to the Lord. Hear, Hear us, Lord. Lord. Father, we come to you in faith as your children. Hear and answer our prayers which we make through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. 
For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praise is add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. <laughs> holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy. Therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the default, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time, he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Edward, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. How great is the goodness, Lord, that you keep for those who fear you. Let us pray. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and stir us to serve you in our neighbor. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Have a great day, everyone. And we'll see you too.